Hey guys, it's Pazzo. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Um, today we're going to be doing like a festively kind of look. It's not long ago being Coachella. So we're going to do something, well, I mean festival's now in the UK, isn't it? So yes, yeah. we're going to do some kind of look with some cool colours. But um, I mean, by all means, I feel some of that wears foundation or, you know, kind of like a heavier look. Keep your eyes on Zoe. Um, and if you're someone who doesn't particularly wear foundation, you know, but still wants a full makeup look, keep your eyes on me. So what are you starting with? I've got this Face Finney Max Factor Primer. And I've know. got, I mean, I love this. This is the uh, Smashbox. I don't know if you can see it, but there we go. That's what they all do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> photo Finish Primerizer. And uh, I've heard, actually, a lot of people don't like this. They say it's too watery, but I really get on with it. Some oh, of these. We're also looking, there's a mirror down here, so if we're not looking at the camera, we are looking in a mirror, but but we will try and look at the camera. <laughs> right. I've got these. I'm not using those again, they were toxic. I'm just <laughs> so I've got some uh, eyeshadow <laughs> covers that I swear by because uh, then it doesn't get on my face and I make a hella mess, don't I? You awful. Hella this. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to start with um, the eye look first. Yeah, I always do my eyes first because, like I said, I make a lot of mess. <laughs> and if I mess up, once I've got my foundation on, <laughs> I'm going to be very um, frustrated. So what are you going to do to prime your lids? Where's my prime? Oh, okay. I'm going to use... Oh, sorry. Um, I've used this now for ages. This is the Urban Decay uh, Primer Potion. Mine is since. It's got like, a nice bit of hint of glitter to it, and I think this is probably the best primer. I've ever used. I've always used it. Yeah. I've got, well, I'm trying something new. As it was my birthday, Paris uh, got me lots of makeup inspired things because, you know, we love makeup. Mm -hmm. So I've got, I don't know if you can see it. It's got uh, mascara and insurance, shadow insurance it's called. It's a little blue one. Not used it, so we'll see how this goes. I'm using the going out, going out out palette which they have a nice range of colours in here. So I'm using Access or Areas, which is like a little, like a, what's the one I'm looking for? Neutral? Neutral. <laughs> Neutral colour. So that's my base colour. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. And then I'm just going to use my little Huda Beauty Warm Obsessions, um, yeah, it's an awesome palette, and just the standard white, and I'm just going to apply that with this Real Techniques brush all across my lid. Aww. Right, I am now, so the look I'm going for, like a, oh, just pull my earring out. <laughs> oh, the butterfly is that? How has that stayed on? Got skin like glue. <laughs> right, Tragic. put my earring back in. The big hoop. <laughs> put my earring in. <laughs> just in. <laughs> you see in the mirror. Oh, yeah. And I'm gonna go in with, I bought this when I was in LA and I went to the Sephora there and it was just, I oh, went to the Hollywood um, Walk of Fame and I saw this in Sephora and I was like, right, we don't have a Sephora here in the UK, which is really quite good for us, Try really. Well, yes. <laughs> we would Try save a bit. lot of money. Yes, definitely. But then there is Beauty Fame and we do spend a bit on there. Just a little bit. We should have shares in Beauty Bay. I don't know why I haven't thought about us yet. Yeah. <laughs> come on, guys, come on. If you're watching this, <laughs> give us a shout. Beauty Bay. <laughs> Not sponsored. <laughs> yeah, not sponsored. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag no ad. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with this re I think it's that colour, yeah. Um this really pretty colour, it's called Love Letter. It is this second second shade in. <laughs> second shade. Second shade. Second shade in. Um, it's, yeah, it's a really pretty purple, so I'm gonna whack that on. It's a beautiful matte shade and here I go. I'm gonna go in with the What a tune it's called. And then I'll be using electric, which is literally right next door to it. So let's go. So what am I doing now? Oh, concealer. Where did I put my concealer? Right, I am all blended in. Here it is. <sighs> so in, what you put? Oh, you're doing a cut crease. Or? I'm gonna do. Yeah, should I do a cut crease? I think you always do a cut crease. I do like a good cut crease. I'm pretty much a pro now. Don't want to be going to pay more. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Next, I'm going in with my Too Faced palette. And 
sweet peach. I it think. smells amazing. Also, this is going to sound really weird, but it tastes sweet. Yes, where's my chocolate bar one? Made of cocoa powder, so it's actually edible. Well, not, well, yeah. <laughs> you can taste it. It's not harmful. Yeah, like, I mean, with this one, I mean, take a dip. Take a dip of Luscious. Oh, don't lick your finger first. No, use a clean finger. <laughs> <laughs> Do not put on eight. <laughs> right, pick a colour, not too much, if that's enough, and then just lick your finger. That's sweet, isn't it? Sweet. Peachy. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm going to use um, the shade Candied Peach. It's a really nice pinky tone. It's quite soft. It's quite subtle. And I think where I've got such a bright eye at the moment, um, I think the blend of the pink in that will really help kind of soften it. But to keep it looking funky monkey. So for my concealer to do a cut crease, I kind of vary. So I've this is my new one, Lasting Radiance by Rimmel London. I'm going to build up my crease a bit more. I'm just debating whether to go back into my Huda Beauty Eye uh, Warm Obsession palette and using that purple just to build up my outer crease a little bit. What do you reckon? Yeah, the top of the left one. Okay, right, so we're going to go in there and I'm going to use this purple here just to build up my outer crease a little bit and um, yeah, to make it pop and look a bit more deeper than what it actually is now. I'm going to tap it in, tap it off my brush, and then apply. I think I've messed think this up. Fine. Oh no. It's fine. I'm just going to go back in with my Zoeva brush, and I'm just going to blend that purple back out because it's just looking a little harsh around the edges. Okay. okay. So. Just because the blue is quite a strong colour, the cut crease is a bit blue. So I'm going to go back in with my access oil areas just to make it a bit brighter so that when I do put the pink on, it will pop. Right, I'm now going to go in with a hop, with a hop, with a poppy yellow. <clears throat> pop, hip pop, 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 pop. And I'm going to use this Morphe G118 brush. It's very good for my inner corner of the eye. Please can I get my yellow eyeshadow which is underneath your palette. Now this eyeshadow, I bought this from um, Kiko. Is it Kiko? Kiko? K-I-K-O? I would say Kiko. Kiko? Yeah, Kiko. Look, K-I-K-O. So I bought this from Kiko. This was relatively cheap. Um, what I also found out as well, it can also be used wet or dry. Okay. And um, so you know like Jeffree Star highlighters, you can use them wet or dry. Um, yeah. But yeah, so I'm just going to keep it dry and I'm just going to apply it right in the corner and bring it all the way out, you know, to as far as my eyebrow as, you can. as possible. Right. So, now I'm going to go in with my, back on my going out out palette because I'm like literally in love with it. Main stage, this colour here, on the cut crease area. Oh, oh my eyes watering, stop. All that yellow is very pigmented. I think I put a little bit too much on my brush then. Oh dear. I thought that someone was walking out there. Like, Get out! You're not coming in! Should I say something like, Oh my god! We're filming! <laughs> so I think I've put enough yellow on. Um, I did pack on a bit more than usual because the purple is so bright. I just felt like the yellow really needed to you know, say, hey, yeah, I'm well. now going to go in with my ultimate favourite eyeliner. I feel like I need something else. What's wrong with them? Yeah. I need like a, gr like a lime green colour. Uh, you need something purple. Or, no. Um, it's, it's so, I'm going to go back to Paris's Kiko, the yellow, and see if that helps. Yeah, because I've never used it wet. I've only ever used it dry. That looks amazing. That is so yellow. So yellow. This one, I... I feel like you do the yellow right to the corner. Up to here? No, like right to oh, right the inner corner, yeah. Oh, okay. I'll try it, I'll try it. Can so you go, go for the yellow underneath. Looks beautiful. And then for the top, again, just to make it pop, because I feel there's a lot of colour up there, just to settle it, I reckon we're going to go with a white eyeliner. You're going to go for white? That's cray. I'm okay. going to do black. I might do black, I might just do black, I don't know. That's good. 
so white. So white. Right, I think, are they looking even? I think they're looking even. Yes, they look good. Even? Yeah. Boom. Okay, so that's my eyeliner done. In a minute, once Slowey's finished with my white eyeliner, I'm going to be bothering a lax. Yes. yes. So, I think that's dry. Gone out of focus now. There you go. Here I am. Here I am. This is the fun bit. Oh, wait for me. Okay. I shall wait. <laughs> that looks good. Finished yet? Right, oh. So I'm going to take them off. And. Ta da! Crazy. So, what I do next is my foundation, which I use L'Oreal True Match in 1.d slash 1.w Golden Ivory. Oh. Golden Ivory? Well, I had a chin then, didn't I? Like, well, multiple chins even. I said chins. Chins. <laughs> so I'm going to use this one. So I literally just done that now. chuck it on my face, but be careful of the eyes because I don't want to mess that up. We just spent a lot of time doing that. So I'm now going to contour my face. I'm leaving the eyes for a minute. I'm going to do mascara and everything afterwards and my false eyelashes. So I use the Fenty Beauty sponge, um, I mean I've got a variety of sponges here in front of me, you know, real beauty blenders, real techniques and that, um, but I love the Fenty sponge, it's just really, really, really soft. But um, yes, yeah, so I just use my Mario, how do you say it? Badesco? 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 Sponge. Badesco. Product and wet my sponge with a few. Scritty scritties. Just a few. Just, just a few. Just in case you didn't And then I go in. Now this is actually the Fenty Beauty concealer, but I use this as a contour. And the reason why I use it, it's um, easy to blend. I mean, I have got the Fenty Beauty stick as well. It's covered in eyeliner. I have got this stick as well in the shade uh, Mocha. But I mean, just comparing the two products, I just find the concealer just blends so much better. Just I'm just gonna put drop there. Drop there, drop there, drop there, and I'm going to After I've done my face, I'm just going to again squirt it. Just a couple more pumps. And I'm going to go back in with the concealer. And <laughs> just blending my concealer. I use and swear by the Revolution, the Revolution one, <laughs> I can't think of the word. concealer, uh, but this is actually a slightly bigger one, so this is a super size one, I have got another shade that I typically use on my eyelid if I'm ever going to do a cut crease, and I always get a shade lighter when I'm doing that, just to again make the colours pop, so that's the regular size, and then that's the size I've got, I don't know if you can see the difference there, um, but yeah, the shade I use every day is the shade 8.5, but the shade I use on my lids is 6.5. Concealer I'm using underneath my eyes, the same concealer I use for my cut crease. But when I use, when I conceal my nose, because I like to, <laughs> I have a thing where I rub my nose a lot, don't I? So it mm. always comes off. So the concealer I use is, I don't know what the brand is, L'Oreal Paris, Perfect Match. So I'm about to bake with this one, so I spray I spray this end first with any, well. any setting spray you want. Um, obviously, but we use, use the Mario Badesco one. So, the um, powder I use is again Primark uh, in nude, two pound, loose mineral powder. And this is just the LA Girl Pro Powder. However, I have started using it from Primark as well, just their uh, banana powder. Look at that, that is baked to perfection. I'm going to fill in my brows now. So where I bronze, I bronze where I've contoured. I thought that was pretty obvious, but I thought I'd just clarify. Yeah, just, to, just under the chin, on the cheekbones, and then on the forehead. Sharpen it up. For my brows, I'm going to be going in with the Maybelline uh, Brow Precise 5 filter. And I love the applicator. It applies on your eyebrows really nicely. And I just give them oh, damn. a nice little coating. So whilst this is baking, I will go on to use my Pantel brush and my Morphe palette. 
These are the shades, absolutely beautiful. They're so good. This is the colour I use a lot. Um, you can't really see how much I've used. There's a big quite, dent in there. <laughs> quite good. So yes, I'm going to go in with that because obviously it's a festival, so we've got to make it pop. So you just go above your bronzer. But um, for my mascara, I'm just going to be using just a Rimmel Extra Super Lash. I bought this today, so I have no idea what it's going to be like. But because obviously we're going for a festival look, going all out, I'm going to use my pomade. Angled brush that I use. So I just brush through my brows with just a normal eyebrow brush. It's all got fluff in it. So brush them through and then I put the pomade on. My pomade is from Beauty Bay. Right, so I'm just going to brush off my powder. Which I should probably do that as well. I'm going to do it in circular motion. Now, I feel like I'm going to do a pop of colour under my eyes. What colour shall one do? I'm thinking the purple. Yeah. Purple. And I'm going back in with the shade Love Letter. And I'm just going to use a little brush for this because. I don't add too much colour on too soon. So, yeah, and then what I do now is I just go in with my. That looks nice. That looks nice. I'm going with that. my Stay. You can't really see it because the light's reflecting on it. It's called Stay Matte Rimmel London, and I've got a just a little fat brush. Just go, go on top. Yeah, go all over my face. Right, so the blush I'm going to use is, uh, but look, should I do MAC or Too Faced? MAC. Okay, MAC it is. And I'm just going to use this little brush. I'm pretty sure you bought me this. I think I did, yeah. It's a good little brush. I'm just going to quick swivel around, get some pigment on there. Blush. And then highlighter. Should I choose mine? I might, yeah, borrow your Morphe one. Um, so yeah, just using this Morphe palette of Zoe's. Gonna, what's it got the cover on it? Caught it? <laughs> gonna open that bad boy up. So Zoe has used this shade. I'm gonna go in with more of a pinky tone. So I'm thinking the one directly underneath it. I'm now gonna move on to eyelashes. Yep, me too. Eyelashes are on. Boom. We've just scrubbed our lips with our Jeffree Star Velour Lip Scrub in Grape Soda. Really tasty. Yeah. So I've used the Alf T Rose. And for my lip, I kind of went like a soft kind of brown nude. And I just went in with classic Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty in the shade Trendsetter. I do need to get a new one because it's running out. And um, I guess now we're just going to set our faces. And yeah. Cover your eyes. Cover your eyes. <laughs> or just don't. <laughs> But yeah, that was our makeup look for our festival. I mean, this is our preference, but um, we hope you like it. By all means, leave a comment down below if you think we should do anything else new, challenges. Um, yeah. yeah, please subscribe to our channel. Would be really, really nice if you did. If you don't, whatever. Yeah, Give us some feedback, whether you like our styles, whether you like what we do in our videos, if you want to see more of something. But yeah, it's our first video. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. And we're done.